Hello and welcome to A-Level Geography uh, at the Dukeries Academy. Thank you very much for taking the time to have a look over this. Uh, as we can see just here, uh, we have a breakdown of all the assessment that's required in terms of your A-Level. It takes a very, very similar route to that of GCSE in terms of its assessment in that it's broken down into three papers, but there is the additional non-examined assessment, uh, which is also in there, which is an independent project. Uh, which you can undertake on any area of geography which interests you um, and you will undertake research towards that whether that be uh, undertaking research through books through the library and so on or going out and physically collecting data um, and you have to write a report on that which is 3,000 to 4,000 words. Paper 1, 2 and 3 as I said very similar sort of um, layout to GCSE you will undertake study uh, throughout the course which I'll go into a little bit more detail uh, in a bit um, and then you will sit a paper. You can see over in the middle, uh, it, the exams are two hours and 15 minutes long in length, and you can see a breakdown of paper one, two, and three, their percentage contribution, and how many marks there are for each one of those areas. So thank you very much for considering this. So if you are thinking about, you know, are you the right kind of student to, to do geography? Um, the biggest thing for you to be considering is, are you interested in what's going on in the world around you, current affairs, okay, what's going on in the news and so on. Because if you are, then geography is definitely something that will fit in with what you want to be doing in the future, okay. You need to be highly motivated, okay, because there'll be a lot of independent study, particularly around that NEA, which I talked about earlier. That is an independent project. Um, it's, it's a bit like a piece of coursework, but it is slightly different to that. You will be required to do a lot of that independent study outside of the classroom, obviously with the support of the teacher, okay. But, you know, hopefully you've developed those skills at GCSE already. So I said I'd go into the papers a little bit more detail. Paper one and paper two are your kind of core papers that contain the actual uh, topic content, if you like, of uh, geography. Uh, so the first one I'm going to do is a little bit of hazards. Very similar again from GCSE, but in a bit more depth. Okay, so you'll look at uh, water running waves in terms of the earthquakes, etc., which you perhaps wouldn't have done at GCSE. Okay, so it just covers that kind of base content, but in in far more depth. Is landscape systems process and change that's about how the landscape around us is okay and you'll sort of coast for that topic five is the water cycle but more about the water insecurity as a result of that so why some places have more water than others okay and what that insecurity leads to so things like water wars and so on topic six the carbon cycle and energy insecurity a massive issue for the future okay making sure that we are energy secure as a and not relying on other countries to get our energy and we've seen all kinds of issues around that over the last few decades and we'll study that more in depth. Paper two, uh, we look at globalisation to begin with and how uh, we impact on the rest of the world and how that the rest of the world has an impact on us. Topic four, we'll look at regenerating places, so how we've taken cities that perhaps have been in a state of decline and regenerated them to become hotbeds of people wanting to go visit them through tourism or through work. Topic seven is a really um, current and uh, relevant topic, which is superpowers. And it takes about the struggle between different countries to kind of be at the forefront. So it starts with the Cold War, obviously, with the superpowers being the USSR and the USA. Okay, and then what that looks like today. Topic eight is global development connections. Again, a really topical one at the moment because we're looking at health, human rights, and intervention. So, particularly with everything that's happened with COVID, that's a really relevant and important topic to be studying currently and um, you can see hopefully that these things are very contemporary and fit very nicely with the kind of expectations that workplaces will have in the future in terms of your ability to understand the world around you and how that impacts on the product or the service in which you'll be offering okay and that's why geography is, is a really good subject for many many different avenues of employment Paper three, okay, is a synoptic paper. So what happens is all of the um, details from paper one and two that you've studied will be brought together, okay, and you will have to answer some large questions around uh, the three core principles of this, the players, the attitudes and actions of different people and futures and uncertainties. So you've got to be able to analyze current world situations and think about that moving forward, okay? And the NEA, uh, just a breakdown just there for you, that's your independent investigation about anything that you might be interested in, in terms of your geography. Okay, and that can be completely guided by yourself. So you can pick any area of geography that interests you and write a paper on that. 
Okay, and that is uh, preparation for further study at university. So it gets you into the swing of how you would undertake something like a dissertation. Okay. If you've got any more detail, uh, any more information at all, if you'd like any more information, the website is just there so you can see the specification in more depth. But please, please get in touch with the school. Speak to myself, Mr. Corn, or Miss Robson, and we'll be able to put you in the right um, put you in the right direction. Thank you very much for your time.